presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to do builds the old-fashioned way, and why you might want to sometimes. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. One of the great new features that they added, I think it was in Pro 5, although it might have been earlier, they're all starting to blend together for me, um, is bulleted list reveals and underline reveals. So, you know, fill in the blanks. So um, that's the best way to do a reveal most of the time. But there are times where that falls short. Uh, one time, right now, as I'm recording this at least, Pro 7 for alternate themes doesn't do a build. Don't know why, it just doesn't. So I think they're going to probably fix that at a renewed vision at some point. The other reason you might want to do this is if you wanted to do both a bulleted list reveal and a fill in the blank on the exact same slide. So how would you do that? Well, you do a build the old fashioned way. So let me go ahead and head over to my computer and we'll take a look at that. So here we are in ProPresenter, of course, and let's see if we can find, oh look, I've got a bulleted list right here. This is perfect. Okay, so you'll notice that I've got a um, list here, and it's got these fill in the blanks. So how can I do both of those things? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy this. Okay, down towards the bottom here. Copy. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it one, two times. So ignore this one, I'm just going to uh, disable it just for giggles. Okay, so now we've got this one, this one, and this one. And actually, let me do one more. It just occurred to me that I might need another one. Let me drag that up here. There we go. Okay, so I've got these four. And let's say what I want is I want this one to start with the proof of God's love, but not have the first bullet. So what I'm going to do is, um, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is go into edit slide, and I need to make sure that I have something set correctly. And it looks like I don't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text over here and make sure this is set top justified and let me do the same thing for these others. Now ideally I would have done that before I copied and pasted this or I could do an apply to all or I could set this as a um, theme and use that. Any of those things are uh, other ways that I could do that. But I'm almost done, so I'm just going to leave this as is. Okay, now let's go back into show, and I'm just going to do this in quick edit just to make it nice and simple. Right click, quick edit, and the first one I'm going to delete everything except proof of God's love. Let's see if that, yeah, that took. For some reason, the quick edit didn't update. So now I'm going to do a quick edit. Same thing, only I'm going to delete everything except for God gave his son. So once again, the thumbnail didn't update, but it did there. So right click. You might be seeing where I'm going here. So right click and... Delete everything except for this last line, or delete the last line rather. 
leaving everything except it, and then this has everything in it. So, now what I can do is, on each of these, I could go back in and do the fill-in-the-blank reveal for just that one, and just this one, and just that one. But, since my transition down here, slide transition rather, is set to cut, dissolve would work as well. Um, either one of those, then watch what happens when I have that. So, there, 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 and there. So, it looks to your congregation like it's a bulleted list reveal. But in fact, it's not. It's four slides, where the only thing that changes is the last element on each slide. So it looks like it, but that gives you the flexibility to either have that show up also on an alternate theme, like for a lower third for your uh, live stream, for example, or to do the fill in the blank on each of those so that um, it just fills in the last one, you know, doing it that way. So you've got a little bit more flexibility there when it comes to doing the bulleted list reveal and a fill in the blank or also an alternate theme. So that's how you do that in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course absolutely free. All you have to do is go to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Give me your name and email address and I can create a uh, login for you where you can take advantage of that course for free. Normally $29. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.